Peter Cohen. Number seven, Gary Ayer. Two of the players have arrived as uh, such. We've had them Jason, all in here. Well, Jason Dunstall apparently left here at 9 o'clock this morning, so I don't know what time he's going to get here this afternoon. But we all hear about Robert Dippier Domenico, and we hear about Brereton, we hear about Dunstall and Mew. I've got one of the unsung heroes here with me, Drew. Andrew Collins, who played an outstanding game yesterday in the back pocket. Andrew, it must have been uh, one of the greatest thrills of all time for you. Oh, it was the ultimate. Absolutely the ultimate. It's something that I've aimed for ever since I've started playing football, and I finally achieved it. Now, the atmosphere when you ran out in the ground yesterday, uh, floating on air? No, actually, I tried to block it all out of my mind. I actually sort of heard nothing, so that, that was a good sign straight away that I had my mind tuned on to the game, so I didn't hear that much at all. It must be terrific for a youngster like you, and uh, I say that, it's true, you're still a young player in, uh, well, compared to Ayers and a few of those players. It must be great to fit into a back line with players such as Langford and Ayers and Mew and these champions. Oh, it just makes my job so easy. I mean, they're, they're two huge blokes. They just break open the packs and the rare mistake they make, you know, I can just pick it up. But they're big blokes. <laughs> yeah, there's a story with you that uh, you actually trained with Fitzroy, is that true? And uh, you were discarded. Well, uh, a couple of years ago I got uh, asked to leave from here. Um, they didn't think I was good enough. I went to VFA for a year and then I um, was asked to train with Fitzroy. So I did that for pre-season and Hawthorne and Fitzroy couldn't come to an agreement. Went back to Sandy and then uh, Hawthorne asked me back here. Uh, Bernie Quinlan apparently has got a question for you, Andrew. Yes, Bernie? You just asked it, Peter. I was going to ask uh, how Andrew happened to get back to Hawthorne after you, uh, well, after he was tiptoed from Hawthorne virtually the first time. It's a great effort to get back there because I, he trained very hard at Fitzroy for that pre-season. And uh, it's great to see him back there. He's shown that perseverance, what perseverance can do. Well, you and answered. he really has achieved something. Well, you answered the question Bernie was going to ask, how you ended up back at Hawthorne. Also, there was a... Uh, a slight problem with the ankle a couple of weeks ago. In fact, I heard a rumour around there before that you had to have a fitness test on Friday to even play in the game. Um, yeah, that's right. Um, I hurt my ankle against Carlton a couple of weeks ago. Actually, Tucky fell on it and I, I sprained it fairly badly. Um, I didn't train for uh, last week, most of last week. I was training this week and it was OK. Then I heard it again Thursday night. And uh, I just tried to bluff Joycey with it, and I was sort of sitting in the forward pocket with most of the, the practice, and I thought I got away with it. And after training, he came up and said, you're limping again. He said, I think we better do a fitness test. So I uh, saw Barry Gavin. He gave me some anti-inflammatories and an ultrasound equipment. So I was up all Thursday night for about six hours doing that all night. And uh, lucky I got through the fitness test OK. Well, it's lucky, uh, Drew. He's a teacher at Marsland College. A great school, Drew. And uh, he's got a week <laughs> off on school holidays to recover. And tremendous game, Andrew. And I think you've been an acquisition to the Hawthorne Football Club. Thanks very much, Peter. And Drew, <laughs> as we drift out there, prepared to sing the Hawthorne theme song. You ready? Ready. One, two, three. Up in Devon Hawthorne, where the money's That's as bad as his last record. <laughs> <laughs>